Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna you talk about using decision trees for economic evaluation. This is gonna be our first example. So in this case, we're gonna talk about a case where we have a health care organization where we're deciding whether to carry a new drug that is said to be effective in treating headaches and compare that to a generic that is prescribed. The possible clinical pathway for prescribing each of these drugs is indicated in the table below. Um, if the cost effectiveness threshold right is equal to five hundred dollars should this drug be funded or not so we have this tree over here where you have your standard care which goes in we have a quality that is gained there at the end um, and you have your new drug that we go and we have where you move into this chance node where you have a 90 percent chance of going and getting a quality of 0.95 or if it's not effective with a 10% of the time and you only gain a quality of 0 0.85. Um, that's what we go and we have here. So let's go see how we solve this. So the steps for going and solving this is that we're gonna calculate the expected payoff of each decision, calculate the ICER, and then compare it to the threshold. So for step number one is that we're gonna have to calculate the expected payoff of each decision. So we just go and run our expected value of our new drug here. And for our standard care, since there's no probabilities associated with it, we just go and pick up the quality directly there. Next is that we're going to go and calculate our incremental cost effectiveness ratio. Um, that's going to be our cost of our new treatment minus our standard care all over the qualities gained uh, from the new treatment minus that of the initial case. Doing the math, we get our ICER being equal to $250. Step number three is that we're gonna compare this ICER to our threshold. Again, just to remind everyone, if Lambda is less than our ICER, then we should go and accept the treatment of the new drug. If Lambda is less than the ICER, then we should go and reject it. In our case, we have a Lambda of 500, that is our threshold. And since Lambda is less than our ICER, our new drug is cost effective and therefore we should go and invest in the new drug. So there you have it. We just performed a cost effectiveness analysis with a decision tree. I hope this example helps. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.